Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a progress bar in your Unity scene. And we are also going to learn how to sync your progress bar in loading another scene. So first of all, we are going to create a progress bar and then we are going to create a script that will asynchronously load our next scene, i.e. the game scene as we have seen in the previous video and then we are going to merge that asynchronous operation with the progress bar. Let's start by opening up our menu scene. Double click the menu scene and it will open. Let's go to our canvas and we are going to have another panel inside our canvas. So right click on your canvas click on ui and click on panel we are going to rename it to loading bar inside this panel we are going to add our loading screen let's change its color to white or let's say black so it hides all the stuff beneath it now add a slider to it let's zoom in to see it more clearly now let's uncheck the interactable let's set the transition to none set the navigation to none because we won't need them now let's go to the fill area or delete the handle slide now let's just make it a bit bigger so we see it clearly we are going to use the anchor points and set them to the size we want of our slider bar. Now let's set the left top and right bottom values to zero. Now you will see that whenever we increase the value, it increases our fill area. Now you can see that it's a bit behind the full. Let's increase a bit to it. Now you see that it comes to full end when I take it to 1. Next we are going to select our fill area and we are going to change the color of our fill image. Let's just set it to some nice green color. So now our loading bar panel have a slider inside it with green color which can be used as a progress bar and we have this value inside our slider component that needs to be changed to change the size of the progress bar. Let's just uncheck it and let's go to our UI manager script double click to open up it in Visual Studio and we are going to code the required script to utilize our slider here first of all what we are going to do is create an i enumerator function or you can say the coroutine which can be called load scene async Inside we are going to create an async operation which will be equals to scene manager dot scene manager dot load scene async and the scene name is going to be game then we are going to wait for our operation to be finished or we can put whatever we want inside this while loop so it will stay here until our operation is being finished here we are going to update the slider value to the progress bar from the progress value of our operation next up we need the reference of our game object 
to do that we are going to declare a new public game object and we are going to call it slider panel then we are going to have the slider component and let's just call it slider to use this we have to include the unity engine dot ui namespace in our script now inside our while loop we can use the slider dot value and we can set it to operation dot progress this operation dot progress as we already know only goes to 0 to 0 0.9 to change it to go from 0 to exactly to 1 we are going to use a float progress variable float progress and we are going to make it equals to math f dot clamp 0 1 and here we are going to give the operation dot progress value now on this line we can just change our statement to have progress let's save our script and go back to unity let's wait for it to reload and now you can see that we have got two slots appear behind us the first is for slider panel and the second is for slider let's drag our loading bar to the slider panel and let's drag our slider to the slider slot Next, go back to our script and we have to start this coroutine inside our play game function and also set active true our slider panel. Let's just comment this line out and after this line we are going to have slider panel dot set active true then we are going to have start coroutine to run our coroutine of load scene async next go to your unity and play it we have got some error in our script let's go back to our script and see what error we have and yes we have a missing semicolon error over here let's just hit save and go back to unity wait for it to reload everything now let's hit play as soon as I'm going to hit play it will show the progress bar and change our scene to the next one since our next scene is very very light and have no assets stuff in it so it changes the scene in just a second